So guys, today I want to show you something different. Laboratory power supply from Gossen Constantor. It's a vintage power supply, I can say. It's delivering 16 volts from 0 to 16 volts variable with multi-turns uh, potentiometers. And in the same time, he is delivering, she is delivering between 0 and 8 amps. Also adjustable. And uh, this power supply she can run on constant voltage or constant current, yeah? CC or CV. Here we'll have the connections, minus, ground and plus. Here we'll have two push buttons with LEDs, one and two, one and two. And you can choose, like example, now it's on position two. So you'll have better or wider, uh, wider view on the output voltage. Yeah? And also it's similar for the amperage. You see, when it's on position 2, you have the lower LED, which is lighting. So that means you read on the lower lower indication on the on the on the dial. Yeah? These two points here are not available on, on this supply, so maybe they are using this uh, front plate also for other units. Now I want to show you how it looks the back. We'll turn around to see how it looks, and after that we'll open to see what uh, structure it's inside so from my point of view it's unbelievable but you will see here is the back side you see it's the description here dc power supply it's made in germany the model is 24k16 r8 here it's a connection it's a plastic protection behind of this one it's a card it's the main circuit board and this main circuit board is coming also out the board is longer than the box yeah than the casing and this one is coming out like you see here you will have the grounding points for the upper and lower covers and you will make the grounding in this point which is very very nice the uh, main cable you see he is he's making here the connection it's, fa it's a fast connection yeah but it's very nice secured yeah, so you have to lift this metal plate and after that you can take out the, the socket. If you are curious about this, it's made in Germany like I said and somewhere it's written also the model. This is the brand and the model. Yeah, you, can, you can find, I found on, uh, on uh, Timi E on Poland this, this socket. Because I was, uh, I was planning to use this kind of socket also on uh, another project. Now I will show you how you, how you can dismantle these covers and to see how is the construction for this power so the construction like i said it's unbelievable so let's let's take out in uh, in pieces this yeah to be able to remove the, the upper cover you have to take out these two metal protections which uh, which they are covering the screws for uh, this uh, handle yeah? so you have to take a screwdriver flat screwdriver and put here inside and you have to, to bend a little bit, but pay attention to not scratch the, the paint, yeah? So you have to do like that. And after that, this metal plate, it will, it will jump. And inside you will have screws. So now you can take out the screws. And here is the, the handle. And the handle, like you see, have metal insertion inside. You have to take out these screws here, this screw with this washer to make free the upper cover yeah? and the upper cover you have just to slide slide out and you'll see how it looks inside from top let's see it so here is the view from top you see you have the indicators here LEDs and you are changing the function from point number one for, on point number two here you have this power supply unit on the side. Here you have the main filter capacitor, the main transformer here, the bridge rectifier diodes, you see there, connected on the, this uh, angle bar, aluminum angle bar. Here you have the connections for power output transistors. This one here is using four power transistors and four heat sinks and let's take also this cover out to see the 
main circuit board. I put the unit on the side. Now you will take a cross screwdriver and you will take out these screws. Be careful because two of them they have washers for a better grounding of this board. take also this cover and you will see here how it looks the construction construction it's really really nice you see you have here the driver transistor the ICs controller ICs you see this board is fixed here on this uh, connection you can take out this this piece here and now the board it's slack and you can move you remove these two pins and the board is coming out. It's very very nice this construction. I will not do this now. And like I said here you'll see the transistors, the, drive, the power transistors. All of them, there are four of them. You, you can see also the emitter resistor there. Yeah. Okay, and this is how it's uh, how is the layout of this one really really nice and it's well built you see the transformer it's really big and it's and it's heavy and here on the front you can see also these multi-turns pots two of them you see the connections for the building posts they are really really big yeah. and now we will test also on load to see how it's uh, how it's uh, how it's going yeah? pay attention all all, all, all the time when you are opening something which is connected on the on the live circuit, yeah. Like you see now, this one is disconnected, but I will connect now. So pay attention for for this. And I want to show you also something else. Here below, it's a fan. Let's see if it's visible. You see, there it's a fan. And it's temperature adjusted. And this fan is uh, is creating an air flow between these uh, heat sinks of transistors and he is cooling down the transistors and also the driver, you see the structure of this uh, heat sink yeah? so the air it's, it's, it's coming here on the front of this board and he is cooling also these components which are here yeah? so let's, let's make a test so for this test we will use a multimeter and we will use also an electrical load and uh, I will show you how it looks, this uh, electronic load. You see here are the specification of this electronic load. It's a Zentro electric. And you have there the voltage between 0.35 volts and 75, 20 amps or 250 watts. Doesn't matter which value you will, uh, you will do first. And now let's continue with the connections, yeah? So here you have a cable connected on the minus of the DC load you will connect the cable here on the on the minus of power supply after that you will take the plus of the DC load you will connect on the plus of power supply yeah these controls should be on zero we can uh, we can connect also the multimeter the multimeter it's important for me to check the voltage on the on the power supply here here on the electronic load you have also voltage which is of course which is uh, measured here you have also the current here you have also on the multimeter you have the voltage output on uh, on the power supply normally uh, according with these dimensions of cables then AWG it will not be so big voltage drop on the cables yeah so more or less the voltages should be should be similar so let's let's start this test so let's power up the load dc load okay so it's power let's power up also the, the power supply power supply it's on now you you see we have these leds which are on top so that means we read the scale which are on top here we have the voltage and we can play yeah? so the current on the DC load are on on, uh, on zero. We start the the connection between the binding posts and the posts and the internal uh, 
circuit of the dummy load and now we can play with the voltage. Yeah? So let's see, here you'll have 5 volts, yeah? So you see, it's okay. Here you'll have 10 volts, 15 volts, and 16.2 is the maximum. It's perfect. So let's put on 15 volts, yeah? Now we have 15 volts. Now we can play with the current, yeah? So now, like you see, the power supply is on voltage mode, yeah? So let's increase also the current here. We'll increase to maximum because we'll play with the load, yeah? So the current is adjusted on the maximum. And now we can play with the current. And you can see the reading, yeah? So here you'll have... Yes, one amp. It's correct. Two amps. In the same time, you can check also the voltage. Yeah. You see, it's 15.004. Yeah. So two amps, four amps, five amps, six amps, seven amps, eight amps, and you see it's triggered. 8.3, 8 8.4, 8.5, 8.6, 8.7, 8.8, 8 and 8.9. Yeah? So the power supply is doing a really good job, and you will see how how steady she is. Yeah. Okay. So let's try a constant current. Let's see. How it's going? So let's play with this one now. You see, it's triggered on 8.5. So let's set here. And let's put on six amps. Yeah. Now we can adjust here. So, like example, now the the consumption of the dummy load it's six amps. Yeah. So, like example, you if you have a device which is taking six amps. Now you can adjust the power supply to trigger, and after that you will increase a little bit more yeah? on 6 amps, yeah? So now you see the, the power supply is running on constant current, and now just increase a little bit, and you have now the, it's adjusted for, you see, between 6.0 and 6.1, which is, which is really nice, yeah? So this is how you will adjust, if you want to adjust and you don't have, if you don't have the dummy load with you, you can make, make a short circuit between the pins and you can adjust the, the current, yeah? If you have other solution, you can, you can tell me. So you see, the, the power supply here is doing a good job. Now let's play also with the current. Let's increase, let's put 5 amps. Or, no, let's put 8 amps, 8 amps, yeah? Let's create 8 amps. And you'll see... the current it will be also steady for all the voltages yes so between 16.1 to 16.1 you see it's really 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 doing a good good job and I want to see also with millivolts what's going on let's see also here see so it's <laughs> this power supply it's doing a really really nice job you know? you see? and now you have eight thumbs on 460 millivolts Try to imagine what is here. You see, 400 millivolts, 300. You see, so about 340 millivolts. He, she is triggering. So, tell me what your opinion about this power supply. What you think is good or not? You can hear. I think you can hear already the fun how it's how it's running. Yeah. So you see, it's, uh, this is how it's going with this power supply. 
is doing a good job. I was thinking it's also nice for you to see my my power supply. If you like this kind of content, don't, don't hesitate to thumb up. I know it's first time when I'm sharing something like that on the channel uh, about power supplies because uh, normally this channel he, he is turning around audio equipment. But uh, I was thinking also this one it's uh, it's vintage unit and I was thinking it's nice to have here on the on the channel. Yeah. Okay, so stay tuned. More videos uh, they will come. If you like this kind of content, don't hesitate to thumb up, share with others, leave comments, leave suggestions, come with questions. I will try all my best to answer to you. See you soon. Bye bye.